You are welcome to today's session. We trust that you are doing great. Um, so Monday, we started with our devotion, and our sister Debbie took us through handling emotional stress. By the grace of God, he continued yesterday by addressing the angry but not sin, or the angry but sin not. Today, we are looking at handling depression, and as always, we like to take a word of prayer. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory and praise. We pray that you take us through this section. And may your name be glorified. In the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. So today we said we are looking at handling depression. And we are using the streams of living water. If you have it, take it and let's journey together. Hallelujah. So today our scripture reading is from Psalms 143, verse 1 to 10. Psalm 143 verse 1 to 10. I'm reading from the NIV version. Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry to mercy. In your faithfulness and righteousness, come to my relief. Do not bring your servant into judgment, for no one living is righteous before you. The enemy pursues me. He crushes me to the ground. He makes me dwell in darkness, in the darkness like those long dead so my spirit grows faint within me my heart within me is dismayed i remember the days of long ago i meditate on all your works and consider what your hands have done i spread out my hands to you i thirst for you like a parched land answer me answer me quickly lord my spirit fails do not hide your face from me, or I will be like those who do, those who go down to the pit. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for you have put for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Rescue me from my enemies, Lord, for Rescue me from my enemy, Lord, for, for I hide myself in you. Teach me to, to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So this is our scriptural reading from Psalms chapter 143, verse 1 to 10. Psalm 143, verse 1 to 10. Let's take our exposition for today. Ames dream had always been to study law at the university. She studied very hard for her WASI exams. She was so sure she could make it for the university. However, when she got her results, she got grade A in all the subjects except English language, where she had D7. She became disappointed, sad, and thought that her world had come to an end. She lost interest in church activities. Whoa. And isolated herself from family and friends. Amma lost appetite and cried most of the times for almost a month. Depression is one of the common signs of emotional stress. It is a feeling of sadness, hopelessness, and loss of interest in previously enjoyed activities. The Bible presents records of people such as David, as we just read, Saul, Jeremiah, and Job, who experienced some form of depression. In Psalms, in Psalms 143, verse 6 to 9, verse 6 to 10, David expresses his feelings of sadness and helplessness, just as we read. One thing that is key about David is that after expressing his feelings to God, he looks up to God for help. Hallelujah. It is important to note that certain circumstances in life may throw us into depression. It is, normal, it is a normal feeling, but if not managed, can destroy your life. Here are some actions. So when you are depressed, this, these are some of the actions you should take. These are some of the strategies you can put in place. One, talk to God about your feelings. 
God cares so much about your feelings. So talk to him about your feelings. Second one is talk to your pastor, an elder, or a trusted Christian fellow. You should have somebody you can talk to. Do not forsake the gathering of the saints. That is the attendance of, of, of church meetings and activities. Look for opportunity to help someone or save others. By serving others, you also tend to what? Relieve yourself from every form of depression or every form of um, thoughts that will, that will end in depression. And then the last one is change your negative thoughts by focusing on God's word. You know, when we study God's word, when we focus on God's word, God's word brings light to every form of darkness that brings depression. So God's word is what? Our surest way to receive from God, to actually channel all our problems, our challenges to God. Because we said God cares about our feelings, He's also interested in the way we express our feelings to other people. So in sharing with other people the word of God, what we are doing is that we are transmitting the light that we have gotten from the word of God to others. And by that, we will now represent a vessel, a medium through which God's light goes through us to other people. And so therefore, depression will find no way in our lives. From the scripture we read, when you look at the Psalm 143, verse number 6, and, and David was actually saying that, I spread out my hands to you. I thirst for you like a parched land. You see, this is somebody who is so much depressed. In the description, he was describing how the enemies were so much interested in his downfall. But he said that I spread out my hand. So you see, we have to own up. We have to, we have to um, surrender everything of ours to God. So that God can now take over. So that Jesus can now take charge. So that the Holy Spirit will have his way. And then he will now start working on us. The, 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 in our exposition, we saw Amma, who is so much interested in becoming a lawyer, studying law, or studying law at the university. Now, because of a, a faith, let's say this seven is passed, but it may be difficult for her to study law with this seven. And because of that, she has lost appetite. She has, she has lost appetite. And the, and the exposition says that she cried almost all the time. She cries almost all the time. At times, we feel disappointed in something we feel so much worked for. But what the scripture is telling us is that God is interested in our feelings and God is ever ready to help us. The ending part of the verse we read is that it says that, Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. God is willing and God is ready to lead us on level grounds. There are storms that may come, but as the scripture says, for those who know their God, they shall do exploit. You see, as grounded people, as grounded young people in the Lord, firmly and deeply rooted in the Lord, when storms come, when surprises come, when disappointment come, we are not depressed. Because we have a spirit who can never be depressed. So therefore, he expects that we lift our eyes unto the Lord and cry for help. And he is always ready and willing to help us. It is our prayer that as young people, as people of God, as we journey in the journey of life, whatever storm, whatever surprises the enemy or even life will throw at us, we will be ever ready to stand firm deeply rooted in, in the word of God and also declare that we have our assurance or we have our trust in God. When we read, I want us to finally consider the verse 8 of the scripture we just read. It says that, let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go. So this is the prayer of David. This is the prayer of King David. He says that in the morning, let the morning bring me the word of, of the unfailing love. Jesus Christ, out of love, out of the unfailing love of the Father, came to die for us. He has uh, sacrificed his life for us so that we will also have life and have it in abundance. And also, 
the, the latter part of it says that show me the way I should go. For to you I entrust my life. So by, by accepting Jesus Christ, by entrusting your life to Jesus Christ, now you accept that your help comes from nowhere than the word of God, than Jesus Christ. So I want to encourage you. Maybe you do not even know Jesus Christ. This is an opportunity for you. This is the greatest chance, greatest uh, privilege you will ever get in your lifetime to accept Jesus Christ as a Lord and personal Savior. Because it is only He who can give life and give in abundance. Hallelujah. So if you are such and you would like to accept Jesus Christ as a Lord and personal Savior, can you pray this prayer after me? Say, Dear Lord Jesus, today I believe I am a sinner and I believe you came to die for my sins. You rose on third day to grant my salvation. I believe in you and I believe in your death. I accept you today as my Lord and personal Savior. Please write my name in the book of life and come and take charge over my life. Lead me from now onwards and let your will be done in my life. In the name of Jesus. If you pray this prayer, trust me, you are saved. Because Romans chapter 9, verse number 9 says that it is out of the mouth we believe, uh, out of the mouth we confess to salvation, we believe with our heart. And as this prayer you've made, it is, it is, it is a confirmation that you have declared the Lordship of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining us today. And we are glad you join us. Kindly share with your friends, invite your friends and loved ones. And also share your thoughts, your questions, and your contribution with us in the comment box. We are, trust, we, we are trusting God that he will, he will grant us the grace to take us through this week. And as we are ending, we would like to take our memory verse. Our memory verse is taken from the book of 1 Timothy, 1 uh, Peter, sorry. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse number 7. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse number 7. We are reading from the ESV. It says that casting all anxieties on him because he cares for you. Casting all anxieties on him because he cares for you. We are glad to join us and we pray that God will continue to work on all of us. God bless you so much for joining. Kindly share with your friends. Let's end with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much. We give you all the glory, the praise, and the honor. We pray that you continue to work on us. And oh God, help us to handle depression. Father Lord, we pray that whatever storm the enemy will, 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 will throw at us, will be able to stand firm and to declare your word. And to, to be able to stand against every form of strategy the enemy will put in place. We thank you for this privilege. We thank you for this grace. We give you all the glory, the praise in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.